Good afternoon. It's my pleasure uh, to uh, welcome Dr. Meredith Evans. Uh, uh, Meredith is the director of the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library uh, in Atlanta uh, and a proud SEALS alum. We're very proud of her. And uh, um, we'll start with a, a question. Um, Meredith, um, just briefly describe the kind of work you do at, uh, at the uh, Jimmy Carter Presidential Library. So it's a federal repository. So we manage President Carter's federal records, but we also have some of his post-presidency records and family, um, family mementos and photographs. So we try to encompass the whole life, but our main responsibility is to support the federal records that we have and depict what the president's life was like during office. Great. Wow. That's, that's fascinating um, um, and really important work. Thank you. Um, so uh, how does technology uh, affect the, the knowledge work in your enterprise? So uh, in a variety of ways, particularly for staff, um, we use computers all the time. Obviously, we're in the digital age. And so this is a one-term president whose records are tactile so that we're now making them available digitally. Um, so that also means teaching people new things and how to use new technologies and new software programs. Um, we also have a museum that also contains a lot of interactives. And so that's also a form of technology that one needs to be updated regularly because each generation is different. And two, it just shows you different aspects that allows you to change content more often than not, which is also fantastic. So. It's a good thing, but it's also something that's constantly evolving that you have to learn from. Yeah, that sounds familiar. <laughs> constantly <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, you know, we've, we've been uh, living through this COVID period for more than a couple of years now. Um, how's, how's COVID affected the work practice, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, at, the, at the library? It's been tough. I think um, COVID has caused changes in your work-life balance. Um, we had to immediately go home. So we many of my staff have not been in the building. And if they have been, it's not been for a full week. So trying to have your home life shift to set up a workspace was challenging. Um, learning how to communicate differently with virtual um, using Google Meet or Zoom was challenging for some. And then also re rethinking or reinventing how we do our work. What work could be done at home 100% um, of the time or 50% of the time? And what impact did that have on providing access to these, material to these materials? So it's been challenging, but it's also been lonely. Um, you know, it's hard not to be in the office. It's hard not to work with people that you used to see every day. Um, but I think now that we're almost in the end of year two, people have adjusted and have been very, are much more comfortable working from home. The question is, it's an archive and it's tactile. So we still have to, somebody still has to go in to prepare work for people to do at home. And so I think it's been an interesting um, assembly line, but it's also been a thoughtful exercise on the value of our work and how we can do it differently and improve it. Uh, in new ways using technologies. So it's kind of daunting yet fun at the same time. Great, thank you. Um, and, and you know, finally, um, and maybe more, most importantly for our students, um, what advice um, do you have uh, for uh, SIL students that, that will help prepare themselves to work in professional settings in the future? I mean, especially given the changes we've seen both technologically and, and, and through the virus. Yeah, I, I, my advice would be to be patient and to be thoughtful. I think people assume that um, you don't have to get to know people and have relationships with people in the digital age, and you do. No matter what your workplace is, whether it's virtual or physical, you still have to learn how to work with people and how to get along. And so in order to do that, you, ha you have to share information, you have to be present, and you have to be mindful of others. And so my advice would be to just be, not just learn the skill set to do the work, but also learn the personal skills and remember why we do this work. We don't do this work just for a check. We do it to better society, to make sure that information is equitably available for all people. I mean, that's why we do the work. Well said. Well, this is uh, uh, fantastic. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to um, um, uh, meet with me today. And um, 
uh, stay well, and um, I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Awesome. Me too. <laughs>